Hello everyone! In this video, we'll be talking about thermal inactivation and the determination of D and Z values. To begin, what is thermal inactivation? Thermal inactivation is a means of inactivating microbes using thermal energy to destroy or denature the lipids, proteins, or nucleic acids in the bacterial cell. A thermal inactivation curve is shown to the right. As you can see, the log CFU of the survivors in a bacterial community decrease in a linear fashion as the community is treated with heat over time. Two important parameters that we will discuss in this video include the D and Z values. Decimal reduction time, or D value, refers to the time in minutes that is required to reduce a microbial population by one log or tenfold at a given temperature. This is scenario specific and can change depending on the temperature, food matrix, and the organism being treated. D values at a given temperature are expressed in the following manner, where T equals temperature in either Celsius or Fahrenheit, and X simply refers to the time in minutes. D value can be calculated using the following equation, where N0 is microbial load in CFU per mil or CFU per gram before thermal inactivation, N is the microbial load after inactivation, and lowercase t is the amount of time in minutes that the sample was treated. Let's look at an example of how to determine D values. A test organism in a novel product is exposed to a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius for 103.5 minutes. The initial bacterial load was 4.5 times 10 to the 6, and the final bacterial load was 3.8 times 10 to the 4 CFU per mil respectively. We must calculate the D value. Remembering our equation for the calculation of D values, we can use the given information, time is 103 minutes, and N0 and N are 4.5 times 10 to the 6 CFU and 3.8 times 10 to the 4 CFU. After substituting these values into our equation, we will calculate a D value at 100 degrees Celsius of 50 minutes. That is to say that it would take 50 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius for this test organism to be reduced tenfold in this product. Now let's look at Z values. Z values refer to the change in temperature in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit needed to change the D value by tenfold. Often they are determined experimentally. Let's continue with our previous example where a test organism in a novel product has a D value of 50 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. When the temperature is increased to 110 degrees Celsius, we find that the D value changes to 5 minutes, and when the temperature is further increased to 120 degrees Celsius, the D value changes to only 30 seconds. Putting these values into a table, we can easily see that every 10 degree increase in temperature leads to a tenfold decrease in the D value. Therefore, we can say that the Z value in this case is 10 degrees Celsius. This concludes our presentation. Stay tuned for our next videos where we will talk about various aspects of antimicrobial resistance and demonstrate the concept of horizontal gene transfer.